Elections are popularity contests, the elected ones ending up winning the popularity vote. And likability, charm and personality count for much, especially to independent voters or those voting for the first time. And in these digital times and social media, connectivity both technically and socially is key to winning and staying in the Oval Office for four more years, as VOA's chief national correspondent Steve Herman reports. Because this is the United States of America. The respective approaches of Joe Biden and his predecessor, Donald Trump, to retail politicking helped each win the U.S. presidency and could give one of them the top job a second time in next year's election. After speeches, Biden sometimes works the crowd, posing for selfies, even taking a few licks and giving hugs. Then there's Trump's signature thumbs up gesture, the fist pumps and the dance moves. Despite facing dozens of felony charges for crimes allegedly committed before, during, and after his term in office, Trump boasts about his deep connection with his supporters. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? For those who studied leadership, charisma is more than just being telegenic. Successful politicians excel at messaging, says Ulrich Jensen of Arizona State University's School of Public Affairs. You feel like you're one of them or they are one of you, right? And so kind of creating that collective identity, propelling values, all of those things can be done by framing the message, providing the substance, and articulating in a way that's engaging and present. By shaking hands, gesturing, and repeating signature lines, presidential candidates amplify their message to the wider world, says Stephen Farnsworth, director of the Center for Leadership and Media Studies at the University of Mary Washington. The vast majority of people who are looking at these presidential candidates will never meet any of them. They will simply decide based on what they see on the media whether this candidate or that candidate appeals to them more. Trump and Biden provide lessons in communications for those seeking to challenge them, according to Farnsworth. You have to be genuine. I think that what you see with both of these men is exactly who they are. Awkward politicians cannot learn to be authentic, but they can be coached on what to emphasize. Trump's first White House press secretary, Sean Spicer, tells VOA. One of the things that sometimes politicians do is they get nervous about certain qualities and, and so then they, they're afraid of leaning into them. And, and I think what Trump did was he just went with his gut a lot more about what he thought and what he believed. Biden bets on his audiences believing his promises of staying faithful to his beliefs. I never ever tell you anything I don't mean. And I never tell you that you don't believe. The unblinking gaze of the video camera lens can expose presidential candidates who are not genuine. Voters see this and decide not to support them, no matter how much money campaigns spend trying to convince them otherwise. Steve Herman, VOA News, at the White House.